Hi there, it's Linda here. Thanks for joining me today as I play with these goodies for Scrapbook Boutique. The beautiful stencil you can see there from the Crafters Workshop is called Christmas Tree and I'll be using it in four different ways today for my four cards. So, card number one, I'm using the gorgeous Nouveau Moonstone Glimmer Paste. So it's a simple matter of just taping my stencil down on my card front and then using a palette knife to spread the glimmer paste evenly all over the surface of the stencil. And once I've finished covering the surface of the stencil, I'll very carefully take off my tape and peel back the stencil and then wash it straight away. All the bits and pieces do need to be washed so that nothing dries hard onto the stencil or the palette knife. But the glimmer paste is certainly gorgeous. There's so much dimension to it. It's really beautiful. It needs to dry for a good while. I tend to leave it overnight usually. Right, card number two we're moving on to and I'm using foiling this time with the Christmas tree stencil. So sticking it down in place and then using the transfer gel from Deco Foil. I'm spreading the gel all over the surface of the stencil, just like I did with the glimmer paste, just like you would with any sort of texture paste. It's a lot thinner though than texture paste, so it does um, spread very easily and you don't need much. A little bit goes a long way. And Again, peeling up my tape and my stencil and washing everything straight away. And I always leave the transfer gel items to dry overnight before I do the foiling. Looking good, so the next morning cutting the rainbow deco foil, the right size for my card front, grabbing my laminator and putting it inside some baking paper just make a little sleeve there of that and run it through the laminator on the 80 mark as you can see there and when it comes out I give it a bit of a rub just to make sure everything is transferred nicely and then what a beautiful beautiful result you get when you do peel back the deco foil so beautiful I never grow tired of <laughs> doing foiling and seeing the gorgeous results Moving on to card number three and I'm using some embossing powder on this one. So I have a little sponge dauber and I have Versamark sticky ink there and I'm just sponging on the Versamark ink all over the stencil giving it a good coverage and then peeling away my stencil again and grabbing my Ancient Gold, African Gold, it also says it's an embossing powder from Ranger and it's gorgeous gold and silver. It's sort of mixed together actually, quite a, a chunky sort of an embossing powder and you'll see with the end result that it's certainly not as smooth as some embossing powders. It gives you quite a textured result with lots of glitter in amongst it. And then once that one's finished it's on to the last card and this is card number four and I'm using my Distress Oxide inks to do some ink blending through the stencil. So I'm just using some repositionable tape to adhere both the card front and the stencil down and then using the sponge dauber with my Distress Oxides. I'll list all the colours for you and you can certainly see the lids too. Just blending these three colours together across the surface of the Christmas tree until I'm happy with the results.
Just adding some fine little shimmery details with some Perfect Pearls powder splattered on to my ink blended card. With my four card front pieces all finished now, I adhered them to the cards, added some sentiments, and here you'll see the end results.